My Pillow CEO, Mike Lindell, is facing even more financial problems as a result of his election denial, which means it's time for another episode of Pillow Talk. God gave me this platform. I want to talk to Mike Lindell. I already know I'm going to win. China did our vote. No, they're not lumpy pillows. Biden and Harris would say, hey, we're here to protect the country and resign. Mike Lindell's a conspiracy. But you haven't. Just forget about the evidence. You're an asshole. This was attacked. This week, the lumpy pillow pusher had a few financial setbacks in the form of lawsuits. First from shipping and logistics company DHL, who filed a lawsuit against the MyPillow company over an alleged shipping debt of nearly $800,000. Wow. In a lawsuit filed in Minneapolis on Monday, DHL alleged Lindell's company violated a previous lawsuit settlement from May of 2023, which required MyPillow to pay off its $775,000 debt to DHL in 24 monthly installments. So he had two years. Uh, yeah, uh, and it, it, it didn't go very well. According to the uh, lawsuit, MyPillow only partially paid off the required installments, paying DHL a total of $64,583.34, with the last installment being paid in June. So he is a couple couple months late on that one. Not good. Uh, now DHL reportedly threatened to sue MyPillow back in July, and after several months of no success in getting them to actually pay their bill, finally filed its lawsuit in court this week. The company is now seeking $799,925.59 from MyPillow along with the attorney fees and an 18% annual interest. Wow, that is not good. But that is not all. Oh no. See, this isn't a long line of gigantic setbacks for MyPillow. Uh, in February, Lindell was ordered to pay a $5 million to a man after he lost his own prove Mike wrong challenge. You know, because he proved Mike wrong. Uh, while in March, MyPillow was evicted from a warehouse in Minnesota for allegedly being $200,000 behind on rent. 2023, lawyers for Lindell claimed in court that, MyPillow found, uh, that the MyPillow founder owed them millions of dollars in unpaid legal fees. And in January, it was revealed that Lindell's ads had been dropped by Fox News for, you guessed it, failing to pay his bills. Wow. So you might be wondering what the hell is he doing with his money? Or does he have any left? <laughs> I mean, he says, I don't have anything left. Okay. Uh, but seems to have enough to push his crappy social media network, Frank Speech. Uh, in fact, he recently took that public uh, and that didn't go very well uh, and has been somehow funding his election denial efforts. So I, I don't know how, I don't, I honestly have no idea how he continues to try to push forward with his election denialism uh, and especially the efforts to try to take down the machines. Okay, sure. Uh, but there's more. <laughs> oh no, the, the bad news, it is not stopping here. Oh no. Uh, Extend Incorporated, which is a California-based firm that allows merchants to pr uh, provide customers with product protection plans. See, see, you were probably thinking something else with the name Extend, just saying. Sexual anarchy. Mm, no, none of that. No, no, has to do with warranties. Uh, and, you know, not... Tallywhacker. Okay, anyway. Uh, so now, they're accusing Lindell of promising and then failing to pay $564,151.39 in outstanding invoices. Um... So yeah, extend, not so happy with Lindell uh, because of the shrinking amount of money that he was supposed to pay them. Well, I guess, I guess that's the only thing that's growing is how much he owes, okay? Now the lawsuit filed at the end of, uh, end of August said in May of 2024, after MyPillow failed to make any of the payments outside counsel for extend, sent a letter to MyPillow to demand payment. This, uh, after repeated further inquiries, 
Mike Lindell, Chief Executive Officer of MyPillow, emailed on June 23rd, 2024, that he will connect this week. But Mr. Lindell did not connect and never did. He ghosted Extend. Wow. MyPillow has since ignored repeated inquiries and demand for payment and has not paid any of the amounts due. Oh, no. Not good. Not good at all. Very bad, actually. Uh, but here's his reaction to this. See, he was asked about it by the Independent, who reached out on Tuesday, uh, and here's what they wrote. Quote, reached by phone on Tuesday morning about this, a harried-sounding Lindell professed ignorance about the case, seemingly distracted by loud banging noises audible in the background. What is going on there? I, I mean, what, what, what's happening at Lindell HQ? <laughs> Okay, uh, now, he told the Independent, though, quote, no idea, but you can go ahead and send, w what's the question? Following a brief hold, Lindell came back onto the line, saying, I don't know if we had a conflict with them or whatever. I have no idea right now. I've got bigger things going on. I have no idea. This guy's running the company and he has no idea. No idea at all. What, 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 are you, what are you, too busy, Mike? Trying to stop the Pomeranians from stealing the 2024 election? Along with the Iranians and the Italians and the Chinese? What? What? I mean, what are you doing? Oh, you know what? Maybe I figured out why they're eating the dogs, you see. It's to stop the dogs from doing the voter fraud. Mm, yes, uh, see, uh, figured it out. Figured it out for MAGA. <laughs> no, it's, look, here's the thing, though. Seriously. Mike Lindell is running a masterclass on how to first build a successful business and then lose every lose it all, everything, for one man. That's it. I mean, it's bad enough that Donald Trump has bankrupted so many of his own businesses, but apparently, somehow, he's also doing it to other businesses that he doesn't even run. <laughs> I mean, Mike Lindell is running his own business, and uh, not only that, but... Uh, it, you know, he's just running himself into the ground. He's a laughing stock. Look, Donald Trump is basically proving that he is a black hole. He already dragged down Michael Cohen, who went to prison for him and then has since come back on the other side as someone who despises Trump for, I think, obvious reasons. Uh, he's also ruined former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, or New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, uh, who, you know, hey, after 9-11, everybody's like, oh, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, we love you, Rudy Giuliani. Yeah, uh, not anymore. Um, <laughs> and, of course, now you have Mike Lindell, who is going broke. All for Trump and his election denial. Think, then, of what he'll do to the country if we give Trump another four years. Another crack at it, okay? I mean, the, the plague, bad enough, okay, in his reaction to it during his administration. I would hate to see what he's got lined up for that encore. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media, through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shutting down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.